Hi, this is Dusty Wallace from Denison MTS, and today I'm in Doan Academy Room here in Doan Hall to go over some of the unique features of the ABN technology system in place for this space. So the first thing to remember is that it's not quite like a traditional e-classroom or lab. Um, this is just the Cuomo interactive display uh, from the Journey 12 series, and then what's called an Intel Compute Stick, which is a very small form factor PC uh, that r does run the full host of, uh, of Windows 10, but it is a smaller machine uh, that is located behind the display. So let's get started as if you were just walking in for the first time and wanting to get started with the equipment in the room. So. Like I mentioned, you could use the Intel Compute Stick PC that's built in. There's a wireless keyboard and mouse that's here in the room for you to use for that. Or you can plug in with your laptop right here in the front. There's an HDMI port and there's also VGA capabilities if that's, uh, if that's more the speed that you need to be. So first things first, you'll see the power button is glowing red. We're just going to turn that on. And that'll turn green and it will boot the Cuomo display. Now we have several of these Cuomo interactive displays on campus. This is one of the earlier versions that uh, you'll also find up in Fellows 303 and also in the Knowlton Center that came in during the 2016-2017 academic year. Uh, there is a slightly different model that's in rooms like Higley 28 and the Museum Learning Space and we do have a tutorial video for that as well. If you would like to see that I'll put that link in the notes uh, of this video. So what you'll see with the Cuomo displays, regardless of what version they are, they actually act as like a giant Android tablet on the wall. They actually do run a version of Android OS. So it can operate pretty independently. So if you just wanted to use it like a giant uh, digital whiteboard, you have the opportunity to do that. But uh, most of you, I believe, are going to be using this to plug in your machine or to use the PC that's already here. So let's go ahead and use it as the PC that's already here. You'll notice that if you had more than one source plugged in, there would be multiple boxes that you could choose. This box is actually showing you the PC, that Intel Compute Stick that's built in to the room. So we're going to select that and it's going to bring that full screen and now that the screen's full uh, on the full display for the PC, you can actually use the wireless keyboard and mouse that's provided to you that will be on the side table or on the conference table in this room, where you could actually interact with this just by touching it as if it were a giant tablet. So you slide up to get to the login, and then a keyboard will appear down in the, uh, the lower portion, lower third of the screen. So I'm actually just going to sneak over here to uh, the keyboard to type in this password because this is a local login. It's on the Denison Wi-Fi network so you can still get to the internet and all that sort of stuff. Uh, all of your Denison apps, those things are still absolutely available to you. But instead of using your personal user network login to get into the machine, you're actually using just something called a local login. So it's actually a username and password that's dedicated to the machine in this space. So again, if we slide up or if we click with the mouse, we can start typing that in. You do have the username and password on an instructional sheet in here. So in case that changes, I'm not going to say it out loud, but I will type it in now so we can interact with the machine. And there we go. So we're logging in. It's going to be on the Denison Guest Wi-Fi network. And it might have some pop-ups and things for you. There really aren't any updates or things that, that you need to run. And like I said, you could use the wireless keyboard and mouse, or you could interact with the whole machine as if it were a giant tablet. So for those of you who use like the Microsoft Surface or uh, perhaps one of the HP 2-in-1 machines, it would be very, very similar to how you operate that if you decide to go with touch the whole way. Another thing that we've... Uh, Built in is the Chrome browser. We've gone ahead and installed the Google Chrome browser. Uh, it's one of the easier ways to get to Denison apps. So we've made the Denison Google login a shortcut in this browser. So if you click there, it will take you to a normal Google login. But as soon as you type your full Denison email address, 
it'll bump you out to the Denison Apps login, and then you log in just like you normally would on your laptop or an eClassroom or lab machine. So from there, you'll be able to get to Google Drive, you'll be able to get to your email, all of the regular host of Denison Apps that you normally get to, Notebowl, etc. So we'll exit out of that. The other thing that has been put on the desktop for easy access is for those of you who use your shared drive, so the Ruby drive. If you double click here on this desktop icon, it'll ask for your Denison username and password to get to the shared drive that's on the normal network, just like you would have on any machine. Um, so this is your username without the at denison.edu. So uh, mine would be Wallace B and then my password. And then you'd be good to go from there and you could get to all of your shared drive and so on. And like I said, you could interact with it however however you'd like, whether you'd like to use the uh, wireless mouse or keyboard, you could use the touch screen monitor. The other thing that this has going for it is if you slide up from the bottom, you actually can annotate on the screen and not affect what's happening behind it on the PC. So I could select this pen tool, draw a little smiley face. I could press and hold the pen tool and choose different colors. I could also press and hold and choose a different thickness. There's also a highlighter pen. You could jump to a whiteboard and so on. And so there's a whole bunch of other things you can do with the annotation side of things as well and just using it with the built-in Android operating system. And Cuomo has uh, some information on that already on their YouTube channel. So in addition to the link to the Cuomo Journey 13s that we also have on campus, I'll put a link to those tutorial videos in the description of this one as well. The beautiful thing about the Cuomo is if you ever get lost, there's a home button right here underneath this flap. All you gotta do is hit home and you're back to where you started, and then you could select the screen and so on. Now, since this is a, um, a local login instead of a normal network login like we have in e-classrooms and labs, um, you definitely still want to sign out of everything. So if you do log into Google Chrome and you log into your Denison apps, you're gonna wanna make sure that you sign out of that from within the browser before you leave. And then when you log out of the machine itself, it'll disconnect you from the Ruby drive. So if you click here again, touch or with the mouse, click the silhouette icon and sign out, you'll be good to go. And from there you can click home or you can just hit the power off on the Cuomo itself. So again, I'll have a couple other links uh, in the description of this video, but the big things to remember are, it is a local login on this PC. There is no physical PC for you to see. It's a very, very small machine that's tucked behind, uh, tucked behind the Cuomo interactive display. You do have a wireless mouse and keyboard, and uh, you do have the ability to still get to your Google Drive, your Denison apps, your Ruby Share Drive, and everything from this machine. Just the login has its own username and password that you don't have to put yours in at the front. And then on the Cuomo display, don't forget, you can plug in your laptop through an HDMI cable, or there are VGA cable inputs on the side here. And with USB cable, if you have a PC, you can actually plug in to where it says touch port, and then you would be able to touch and interact with your PC, uh, just like you're interacting with the Intel Compute Stick that's in here. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact the ITS Help Desk.